Today you're going to watch me do a live interview for the first stage of a six-figure developer role. I decided to also hit record and show you how the process looks like, how you negotiate the salary, how you discuss the details and all of that. So we have like six minutes before the call. Let me quickly show you what the role is about. First, let me pull up my LinkedIn messages. So this is how the recruiter reached out to me. I probably will blur most of the conversation, but I'll show you how I respond and how we schedule the call. So the salary is starting from 5 to 8K in euros, which translates to 9K in USD, and that's after taxes. So if you look at before taxes, that's probably like, if you assume like 20% as a taxes uh, or more, then it's like, yeah, like 12 per month, which translates to 140, 150K roll. And after taxes, this is what you get. And then he shared the job description, which I have open here, and then asks for if you'd like to schedule a call, an introductory call with the recruiter and discuss more details. So usually my default answer to this is like, if the role is interesting to you, you respond that the tech stack and job details look to like seem to fit my skills. This just confirms that you've read the description and not just answering yeah, sure. And then later they find out that you didn't read the job description and all of that. And then you ask about the interview process or something to get started. So I, I ask what's the interview process, how does it look like? And here is more details. So the first call is this one that I will have now, 30 minutes introductory. This is mostly like to assess your skills and if you're a good fit for the position. Then you'll do a 30 minute test focused on Node.js in this case, and that will depend on the position. And then technical interview, if you pass that, like one and a half hours. And then the final stage is like, if you got to this stage, you're usually hired. You just need to discuss a few more details and maybe you decide to negotiate your salary a bit further before joining. So you can consider it as a free step interview. So I have four minutes left. Let me quickly also check. This is how I do it. Like I check the job description to see what I should present in the interview, what experiences I will talk about based on this. It requires ECMAScript 6 and above. Node.js and Nest.js, SQL, NoSQL databases. These are like just the years of experience that is required. In most cases, these are just numbers. If you are good at it, then this doesn't matter too much. REST, GraphQL, and WebSockets. TDD is for test-driven development. Microservice architecture, Git, of course. Uh, RabbitMQ, which I don't know, but I, I can mention like Kafka or SQS or other message queues that I worked with. So. It's not mandatory. And that's also the point, like you don't have to fully qualify and check all the boxes to apply for the role. You'll see that it's not that important in the interview. Redis, which I have, MySQL, MongoDB, and English. It'll be plus CICD, microservice architecture containers, sure, like Kubernetes, NUTS, what is NUTS? Cloud. Okay, some cloud solution. I don't know that as well, like, but I don't care. Like, I think you can see it's a plus, so it's not mandatory. And yeah, then like just duties, sport package, medical insurance, all of that stuff. Yeah, that is how I, how I get started. I just look at the position details so that I can share relevant experiences in the call. And now we are gonna jump to the call. We have two minutes to get started. And then you'll see how the process looks like and the next steps. So I'll close my bubble here. And let me see if I'm in the right call. Hello, hello. Hey, oh, finally, finally, we meet each other. <laughs> yeah. Are you waiting in this meeting room? Uh, I don't know, really. Maybe it was some um, rent room. I don't know, really. So, yeah. never mind. No, no worries. I was just like trying okay. to join and wasn't accepted. Okay, okay. So, let's get started. I guess we have up to 30 minutes for this call and we can divide it into two different parts. Mm -hmm. At the very beginning, I will tell you about who we are, what we <coughs> do, about the company in general. And if you're interested, in the next 15 minutes, we will talk more about your current situation, what you're looking for now, about your professional background, we're finishing by discussing possible next steps at that time. Okay? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, great. <coughs> so uh, then let me tell you a bit about our company. So by the way, have you heard anything about us before? Like, do you have any idea who we are? Uh, I mainly did research on the job description, but haven't checked about mm -hmm. the company yet. Okay, then let me take a couple of minutes to tell you more. So in one sentence, it's a product company inside of a gaming industry. So two key important things to know. We exclusively for the company, we are not outsourcing, outstaffing. All our products are developed in-house for our own use and purposes. 
Uh, second one is we work exclusively in a gaming. So we generally split into two main areas like games, slots like gambling embedding. And uh, also we develop uh, such services like platform games and more. We don't do anything outside of a gaming, but within this industry, I would say we cover almost everything. And uh, let me tell you more about our products in detail. So first of all, we have our own iGaming platform, which our core sophisticated backend solution, multiple team work on it. We have two versions of this platform, an older one based on monolith architecture and new one that we're currently developing built with microservices. And uh, to be precise, we now have more than uh, 95 microservices. And around this platform, we have our own CRM system, payment provider aggregators through which our casino brands are connected to many uh, different payment system. And we, can be also considered a game provider because we create our own games. So for example, slots, casino games, sport books, and etc. cetera. Uh, these are primarily web-based project, but we also have some mobile one, but not as many. And uh, additionally, uh, we act as platform provider. We have many of our own brands and websites uh, where game are hosted across different markets, like 40 plus. And uh, we can collaborate with different studios through B2B and just post their games on our websites uh, on different market, something like that. And many additional, additional projects are going on because we have over 4,000 people here right now and more than 40 development team across all locations. So for instance, for um, Armenia, we are going to build at least five teams. So now we are going to open up our office in the end of this month, I guess. But now we have already hired uh, uh, one full team and people like awaiting for our office, something like that. Yes. Uh, I guess that's it. And about, of course, about technical stack uh, for backend, we use Node.js. For database, we use uh, MySQL, MongoDB, and we are hosted by AWC, something like that. Yeah. Maybe any questions? Yeah, tech, sound, tech stack sounds good. About the job, this one specifically, which team I will join if I decide to look forward and which parts of the system I will be working on? It's going to be a team uh, dedicated to our platform. So you will be developing uh, the version like V3. So it's like not the whole new platform, but it's going to be additional part to this platform, which will be develop developing in Armenia exclusively, something like that. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so now let's talk a bit more about you. So can I ask you what your current situation is and how actually do you consider new opportunities right now? Yeah, so right now I have a current ongoing role uh, at the current mm -hmm. company called Testio. So I am like looking into transitioning more challenging role where I will mm -hmm. learn more skills and work uh, more hands on on different parts of the system. Mm -hmm. uh, so the job, uh, this one, the role seemed like an interesting one. And I also see some, some areas there I can learn. Uh, so mm -hmm. like, not actively looking, but if there is a good fit, I'll, I will consider switching the role. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about your experience with uh, Node.js? So how long have you been working with it? Basically, starting from my career, like I, mm -hmm. I've been working for seven plus years and I started as a Node.js mm -hmm. developer, then later switched to front end side as a React as well, full stack. But I started with Node.js since then. Mm -hmm. So and currently, as I understand, you work as uh, uh, full stack developer, yes? Yeah, since then, like most of the roles have been full stack. I had a couple of pure backend focused ones. It mm -hmm. was mostly like full stack with Node.js in the backend and React on the front end for most of the part. Mm -hmm. Great, great. So, as I understand, you quite interested to pursue your career into pure backend, like later, yes? Uh, yeah, I'm more interested on backend side. I'm more like uh, interested on that side, but uh, mm -hmm. if there is like an application end to end, I'd like to work like on all both sides. Uh, but mm -hmm. my interest is more in the backend. Great, great, great. I see your point. And uh, if we are talking about your uh, notice period, so how much time do you need before leaving your current company and joining a new one? I think like the notice period is two weeks. That's the mm -hmm. maximum that will take them to, to mm -hmm. re resign the contract. It might be sooner, but uh, like two weeks maximum. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And, uh, okay, let's move forward. And if you're talking about your seller expectations, so which amount do you have in your mind? Yeah. Uh, so for compensation in my current role, like it is around 9K in USD. So I would consider anything starting from that range, around that range. Uh, in USD gross or net? Net. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So 
because we pay in euros let me let me calculate the range so yeah it should be within but yeah we can double check maybe yeah so something like seven eight euros uh, net. Yeah, below eight euros mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay 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 noted okay and um, mm, let me tell you more about hiring our hiring process so we have uh, three steps ahead so first one is uh, uh, pre-assessment on hacker platform maybe you have heard about it uh, so it's like a, a test with Node.js part and javascript part and if results are good uh, we invite you to the next step and next step is technical interview it will approximately last one hour and a half so it will cover uh, all topics about javascript typescript node.js uh, databases awc and uh, maybe it's also going to be some live coding task and uh, if uh, results are good as well, we invite you to the final interview. And final interview, it like uh, uh, getting to know your future team lead or engineering manager, and also uh, there is going to be HR business partner, so you'll be able to uh, discuss all uh, topics related to the project, uh, about office, about uh, uh, team structure. So, and uh, uh, by the end of this dialogue, you will be able to understand uh, what ex exactly we offer you, something like that. And if everything is okay, after two, three days, I will get back to you with your offer. That's it? Yeah, sounds good. About the second part, it's like a live coding on Hacker. Uh, uh, there's going to be two, maybe three live coding tasks, like at the end of the interview. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Great. Uh, maybe any question? Uh, no, mostly like about the product, but I guess that will be more in detail in the technical yes. session. So, yes, it's uh, true. Other it's than that, true. I think everything is clear. Okay, uh, then I need like one day to forward all information and get feedback from the team. And if everything is okay, I will get back to you tomorrow with information how to get access to this platform. Okay. Yeah. And is there any like uh, deadline when I should complete the second? Uh, we provide like three from three to five business days to complete it. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Great. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Yeah. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye. -bye. So that was it about this interview. You can see it was pretty short because he, the guy was waiting in some other meeting room and I tried to join, I couldn't. So we had like 10 to 20 minutes left. Usually if it takes like 30 minutes, then they will ask more about your current position. What are you working on right now to see if it's relevant to the position they are offering. You can see a couple of things I incorporated, which I mentioned in the salary discussions. For example, showing interest in the position first before starting to talk about the salary so you can ask questions about the product about the team you'll be joining like you care about what will be the team that you will work on or what part of the system you will work on and then later you can use one of the ways to negotiate the salary at the end you can negotiate it more so if based on the interview stages if I pass them well then at the end which is the fourth section in this one in this interview process you can also ask for more and that usually works if you past the previous ones pretty well and yeah you can see like he was asking some questions about if you're more backend focused this needs to be tailored per company so in my like in reality i'm i'm interested in both equally on front end and backend sides but you could see that he was expecting me to ask for that i'm interested in the backend so that's that's how i do it usually depending on the interview and position this is a few days after i had that interview with the recruiter and he messaged me actually the next day that I got an approval and we will move on to the next step, which is the live coding. And after that, we will have the technical interview with the engineers. So now I'm going to show you what it looks like, how I'm passing this interview, and then also the next one, which will be the, the third one and how you like land these kind of offers, how you handle the interviews and all of that stuff. So it will be a quiz test on hacker rank. And if you open, these are the instructions, like you should set aside like 50 minutes to go over this test. And based on this sample, I assume like one of them will be a quiz about Node.js and some deep topics like streams, clusters, and yeah, like stuff like that in Node.js, like event loop and all of the topics that you need to know as a developer in Node.js. And the other one I assume will be like a live coding, like solving something. So. If I go back here, for example, where you just get started, this is like a sample data. So the second one will be something like this, where you live code and implement some solution. 
So any, if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, this will be exclusively in my mentorship program. If you'd like to see the continuation on how I land these kind of offers and how I can help you also land these kind of offers, then check out the first link in the description and apply to see if you qualify. Do not apply, please, if you're a complete beginner. We don't work with complete beginners. And if you're not ready to take the leap and work hard to achieve that senior role. So only if you're serious to take the leap and become a senior developer, only then you should apply. Last time I posted, like we got calendars fully booked with calls, but like 90% of them were unqualified or beginners. We usually cancel those applicants. So again, if you're a developer with at least one year of experience, and especially if you're from regions like Europe, US, Canada, Australia, or New Zealand, I can help you achieve these kind of roles way faster. So check out the link in the description and then we'll continue on the next step of this interview and overall landing this role and showing you how it's done.